Yeah, Josh, and this was established this evening. It's the latest memorial to honor Officer Gabriel Torres, who's a husband and a father of a two year old. He's also a Marine Corps veteran and this car I'm expecting to look like what it does in Headingham, where more flowers and candles were delivered today. In silence and in tears, on a day that was supposed to be the Headingham Fall Festival, the mood at the Headingham Clubhouse instead... It's somber. Uh, this community is, um, is reeling. Um, there's a senselessness to things like this. And, um, and so we just, we just pray for that hope, that spark of hope to just come back into this community. More than 100 people standing together after Thursday's mass shooting, remembering the five lives lost and the two injured, saying a prayer for people like 52-year-old Nicole Connors and 16-year-old James Thompson. Our kids grew up with the little kids, and um, Nicole, she was, will always walk her dog, and we always have conversation out there. Mm -hmm. So everybody was like a close knit family in the neighborhood. So this is hard on all of us. Residents still in disbelief that something like this can happen right outside their door. And I know you hear that everywhere, but just how comfortable we always set. were, how comfortable we are here. Um, and then having to be on guard at your home is challenging. You don't feel so safe anymore. Like all of us just standing out there last night was uncomfortable. The five portraits of the victims moving from the clubhouse to the entrance sign where flowers and candles remain. More people coming to pay their respects, the silence undisturbed in the neighborhood. Today I felt Jared, um, truly when I went Jared. outside because normally you see people walking the dogs and different things, it's just nobody's out there no more. We will never forget their names, faces, and spirit of those who lost their lives. And as you can imagine, it's another tearful night for the city of Raleigh, repeating what you mentioned earlier on how the police department called what happened on October 13th senseless acts of violence that leaves them grieving and mourning with the community. We saw several officers at today's vigil after losing one of their own. Unfortunately, another officer who was injured in the shooting was released and treated from uh, was treated and released from the hospital. Reporting in Raleigh, Cindy Bay, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.